So, Yelena, why did you choose to study uh, in a paralegal program? My main goal was practice law here in Canada. I had a legal education from my home country as well as work experience, and advisors from International Student Center directed me to choose this program because this is the fastest way to practice law and to transfer my knowledge from Ukraine to Canada. Oh, so what was the purpose of you having the education in the, your home country to continue educating here uh, in the legal profession as a paralegal? Okay, the difference is in my home country in Ukraine, civil law jurisdiction here is a common law and I need to adjust my knowledge to this system oh. to practice law here in Canada. So, Victor, I know that you are finishing your program right now. That's true. Do you feel ready to practice law? Toronto, Canada? Uh, I'm definitely ready to practice law in Canada. First of all is that I have an experience in a, a, a legal profession. Uh, as I was uh, in a field placement on the third semester uh, provided by the uh, Centennial College and we were uh, having also uh, great teachers which give a uh, huge knowledge in uh, our scope of practice. Our teacher was supposed to be a judge and we all, like in the two groups, we were chosen who will be uh, the representative, who will be a witness, who will be like a statement, whatever, like, and we created the, the legal documents and we all, we do it in a class, like a real court, like in a real court, and we were like, you know, representing our clients, protecting our clients, fight, not fighting, but we call it like fighting, fighting with each other, you know, like protecting. So it was awesome, like I will never forget that experience. Yeah, it's like, you know, it's like when you finish, finish your studies, you will go, you, you know that the first day in the court, you, you will remember the day at school, and it's not, it won't be your first time, you know, it will be. Second time, sorry, time. <laughs> I like to start that just because I'm in the same program. It's hard. I'll just get those uh, yeah. paralegal on the way. So I myself, I'm a paralegal. I mean, we're paralegal program as well. I like, can um, relate to the type of experience she's talking about in the classroom, where you have different group projects. You actually have projects where you have to attend the courthouse. You go to the courthouse and see exactly how things are done, and you yourself are able to see firsthand experience on what it is you're going to be doing next. Which particular spheres of law are you allowed to practice by the Law Society of Upper Canada as a pro legal? We can practice in the Provincial Offences Court, Small Claims Court, Administrative Tribunals, as well as Criminal Summary Offences, uh, Convictions. Uh, also, you know, I was practicing this uh, sphere uh, in a field placement, and my lawyer, my boss, uh, he uh, sh uh, showed me all everything um, that I need to know. As Albert Einstein once said, uh, the only source of the knowledge is experience. Our teachers possess both a par a paralegal and lawyer experience. This is our professor for the criminal law, uh, Veronique Henry, and uh, she will uh, tell us about the experience she has. Uh, so, lawyers and paralegals, what do you consider the main difference in the sphere of practice among both? Okay, um, well, we're both legal service providers licensed by the Law Society. Lawyers, however, have a broader scope of practice than paralegals, and that seems to be the main difference. It's the scope of our practice. The paralegals um, have a lot of responsibility, but the scope of practice is limited accordingly um, because of the new introduction to paralegals in the legal profession and because of the education that they're receiving. Okay, so <clears throat> do you consider that paralegals by studying just one year can achieve practically the same results as lawyers by studying five years in university? I think it depends on what you're what you're speaking about. In the in issues that pertain to the scope of paralegal practice, mm -hmm. yes, I'm sure that paralegals can obtain the same results as lawyers, but in issues outside of the paralegal scope of practice, probably not. Um, although I see the two um, scopes of practice as very complementary, and I think that there's room for both. Uh, obviously, uh, what uh, the scope of paralegal practice would not uh, prepare you to practice um, as a full-fledged lawyer. So I just pick up my uh, study materials for the examination. This is a license and examination that gives you the chance to uh, be licensed as a paralegal and practice law in Canada and provide legal advices to, uh, 
to clients, to the clients. And uh, you can open your uh, own business and work as a uh, sole proprietor or in a partnership with somebody else and uh, do not depend on the lawyers.